Welcome back. This is Lone with MTG Bangkok. Uh, I'm currently in the middle of a friendly standard league, and I'm currently 2-1. and one. If I can win one more, I will get my... What's that thing called? The the something points back. In other words, I'll break even so I won't lose any money playing against this, in this league. Um, so let's just get to it. And I'll bring my deck up so you can see it. Um, yeah, let's get to it and see if I can make that happen. So I want to go to the screen so that I can actually, while we're waiting, so I can have like my deck up while we're waiting for my next opponent. <coughs> Overall, I've been pretty happy with the deck. I haven't had a chance to practice it, at least in this league anyway, against any control decks. Um, but, you know, it's a big GP in Singapore, so there should be a lot of, or a good amount of control decks, so I should, you know, end up seeing some of them. So I would like to practice some more against them. Um, if that comment seems random, it's because, you know, maybe I didn't mention or you didn't see my previous videos, and um, I meant to mention that I'm going to GP Singapore tomorrow. Let's see. So this is similar to my very early hands, which were bad. Um, so while getting that, I'll keep this one. This looks pretty good. Don't keep that. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll keep that. Let's see what my opponent has. I like his name though, Starlight Noob. Hmm. Some type of artifact deck. It could be the that Grixis Improvised deck that I used to play. So it's possible it's that deck. Wait. Did I not leave the scrap heap on top? Oh man, this is what happened when you play Magic late at night. I might have messed up there too. Um and you know when you play online, it's much easier to to miss click or something. But I totally thought I left the scrap heap on top. Hmm. Well, now I can go back and check the video. That sucks. I was hoping they have the scrap heap on top, so then I can then get rid of the lands or uh, my cards easier. If I had the scrap heap on top with that land that I got right there, that should almost mean that I will um, be able to get hazard online one turn earlier. Yeah, this is a version of that uh, improvised deck. I remember this deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sucks. I can't believe I put the scrap heap on the bottom. Uh, well, hopefully I survive this. I shouldn't have to worry about well one two three four five. He's not playing red, so this is blue black version. But he should still have that one demon though. Eventually, I'm okay with that. But I would do wish I can get some of my braids. That would be nice. Ooh, heart of Kieran. Uh, keep attacking. Nothing else to do. Now I can play the Heart of Kirin. Next turn, if I get a land, I will be able to play Hezret. Or a land plus a one drop. The, oh, sorry, or a, a one drop would work too. Ah, it's that counter spell. Allows him to improvise. Yeah, that's fine. Still better than uh, getting Hezret countered. I believe the name of that demon was what? Demon of Dark Scheme? I think he can now get it online. Nope, we got a Karn. This might be the Karn version. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Whoa. That is a huge creature. Well then. Ah, I miss calculate it. Um but anyway, I get Karn down, attack with Karn I'm sorry, get a Hezret down and attack with Hezret. 
He'll probably block with the servo. And leave that there. Or could attack with both. Nah, I'd rather not attack with both. I could attack with the bow mat and then discard that away. Yeah, I'll, I'll attack with everything actually, because I can get the bow mat to die, and then um, I can bring back the the scrap heap scrounger eventually. So let's let's be more aggressive. I think that's better. He could have a Rascal's Contempt, which will get rid of my god, but you know I have other powerful spells in my deck. There's a good chance I probably should have gotten rid of Karn. Or at least attack Karn. But I want to be a bit aggressive here. Yeah. Well, good thing I did that because I got another Hezret in here. Hmm. Two five fives. That's pretty big. Another six six. I could try to burn him out from this point on. Now, what I like is that Karn is now at one. If I can get. Should I play this land? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I should play the land because then I can discard. I can discard and just start pinging him at this point. Does he have another that counter spell? Well, I'll pay. I'll pay the three this time. All right, I'm okay with that. He put the card on top of his library, so I don't like that either. Uh, yeah, it's a four-turn clock. If I just start just throwing cards at him through Hezret. I can get a glory bringer, I can bring the turn count down even more. What are you playing? I do not like this at all. Yeah, I'll pay that. That doesn't allow me to ping him this turn, but I'd rather have the chain whirler down so I can kill Karn. Um, should I attack? with that yeah cause then he'll have to block or he doesn't have to block but at least no I can't attack so realize that eh doesn't matter then. I might have messed up cause now I can't get rid of the card and he's attacking me with 266 no I don't think I messed up I mean I had to pay to bring in the, the goblin chain whirler he just had to counter spell I mean the other option there really was no other option. I could play the scrap heap first, hoping that he will counter it and let that get countered. But I think this was the better play. Don't tell me he has another Karn. Yep, Hero Anguish. That was the card I was thinking of. Yeah, I will discard the scrap heap. I'm okay with that. Now I can discard two per turn. I'm okay with that right now. So let's just pass the turn. It's a close game. He does have a lot of stuff going on right now. And those 6-6 six, six are they're just huge. Let 
If he attacks with anything, I can bring back the scrap heap and try to attack it next turn. You can attack with the flying creature. No, and then I'll just discard both of these to ping him. It's a really close game, but I think I should be able to pull out. Um, in response, discard some cards. Because that thing is making me discard anyway. So, let's discard all of it. If I can get a glory bringer, and he doesn't have a counter spell. And he only he should only play those four counter spells, so I should have a good chance getting the glory bringer out to do stuff. Now if he gets he has a rascal contempt then I'm screwed. Okay. Well, now he can get rid of my Hezret. Yeah, that's right. I forgot that it can do that too. Um hmm. I think I just need a glory bringer. Probably the best way out. He does make his creature smaller, though. Sure. Ooh, that is a good draw. You know what? I will try to surprise him next turn and get him to attack with more things. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. Hoping that he doesn't have a counter spell, but, you know, let's try that. Close game. I wish I had another black mana source. If I did, then I wouldn't worry so much about him getting rid of the scrap heap in response to. Uh, I probably should have did it my turn. Yeah, that was a mistake. He does have mana, but I keep on forgetting that these can be removal. This can be a removal spell. Yeah, I might have messed up pretty badly. Now that I think about it. Uh, I should have thought it out further ahead. If I would have done that, he would have been at one. Then I could have really made him worry about attacking in. Now I'm going to do this and... Well, I could chump block still. Maybe force him to play something else. And then attack. Uh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, I gotta get rid of the flyer, I guess. So let's just give this a try. He's going to sack some stuff. If he misses the trigger, then, or if he miss. And he doesn't think about my scrap heap, then I'll be a little bit okay, but highly doubt that. Yeah, I think I lost this game. Although I have one shot. If a glory bringer shows up, I think I can still win. What happened to his creature? Oh, right, right. Man, I am not 
playing. Well, I'm not thinking at all about how I'm playing. Okay, Glorybringer. That's the only thing I have left. Um, Chandra won't do it. So, pretty much only Glorybringer. Come on, baby. Get there. Ah, it did not get there. I don't think there's any other way for me to come back, so let's concede and go on to the next match. That was unfortunate. I think I played that one pretty badly. Um, the braid's probably good. The cut is okay. I think the unlicensed is better. I'd rather have some duress in here. Glorybringer would have been good. Chandra, no, I don't want to stock up too much with her especially if he has Sorcerer's Spyglass let's go down one heart of Karen too uh, I do want to go a little bit faster yeah I guess maybe just two is fine because his Herald of what was that Herald of Anguish would definitely kill the Glorybringer doesn't do much with that Man, it sucked that I drew three Hezret, but I don't want to go down to one. No, maybe I could. Yeah, let's go down to one. 21 creatures. Removal. Hard Karen's still good. I want to go fast and be able to attack. The Beaumont Courier, I don't... No, you know, yeah, I don't think the Beaumont is that good, especially with all the 1-1 one, one stuff he has. So let's bring that in. Bring in another one of these. Let's bring in an Eldest Reborn, too. I've been wanting to try out that sideboard. And... A Doomfall? Yeah, let's bring in a Doomfall. Only 19 creatures. So definitely much more mid-rangey. Um, yeah. I am definitely seeing all the weird decks today. I have played a version of the Grixis Improvised deck. I've yet to play this blue-black version, but it looks like he's focusing quite a bit on Karn. Okay, seems decent. Keep. Maybe go on curve, get Hazard out. What's he going? Oh. Every time I see one black mana, I keep on thinking that someone's going to duress me right away. It's just an automatic response to that. Ooh, I gotta get some sleep soon. I'm tired. Okay, what are you going to name? Probably Chandra. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, being able to, the fact they can see everything, probably Chandra. I'm glad I shaved down on Chandra. Probably should, yeah, uh, I don't know if I should brought in the Karn. Um, I'll save the Chain Whirler for when he has, like, smaller creatures, so I'll pr play the Pia now. Hoping I get black mana soon, too. I have done nothing to mess with his game plan though, so pretty soon he'll be able to improvise and get out Hero of Anguish, which would suck. Alright, he didn't get a land, so I think he needed that for the land, um, which helps because now that cuts down on his plan to be able to improvise stuff in. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I could play the Chain Whirler next turn, get rid of that, and be able to attack in for quite a bit. 
Wish I could get some black mana, but this will work for now. I really want to doomfall him to make sure he doesn't have. Oh man, he has a counter spell. Forgot. That counter spell is so annoying. No. But I'll still attack with everything anyway. This is starting to be pretty bad, though. Especially if he gets the Hero of Anguish down next turn. But he doesn't have the extra land yet. Okay. I'm okay with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also okay with that. But I really need to get some black mana. That would be nice. Um, hoping that he double blocks Pia, and I can play another one. Well, he probably doesn't want to double block Scrap Heap, but I think bring that back. Right. Makes sense. That is pretty nice. I do enjoy him doing that. But where is my black mana? Now, if he plays Herald next to her and then get black mana, that would be nice. No. I'm okay with that, too. Not as okay with that. Being able to gain three lives does extend his time a little bit more. But he doesn't seem to have anything in his hand because he's at only one card now. And all this other stuff is not really doing anything. Oh, unless. Yep, it's hero time. Okay, big go. Let's get black mana. Black untap mana. Ooh, he is. What's X? Seven. So he's going to gain quite a bit of life. And there's no way for me to sack that or do anything about it. So, yep. Yeah. That part sucks. That part is pretty good. But he's out of Suffer's hand. What can I play here? I could destroy that to make sure he doesn't get to see more things. Yeah, let's do that deal three damage to him and then be able to attack with stuff. <coughs> and if he gets out the Herald of Anguish next turn, then I can just um, discard a Chandra and use Doomfall to get rid of it. Because I don't think there's any... Does he have white mana? Yeah, I guess he could get this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he could. Oh, that sucks a little bit for me. But I can make him get rid of that. And then still attack in. Oh, Duress, you came too late, buddy. Uh, yeah, that's one of the dangers of Duress. At this point, he doesn't have a hand, so it doesn't really matter. Let's attack... This into Karn, and this into him. Um, doesn't have... Yeah, he can't sack anything, so I should be able to attack in freely. That was a good draw, though, getting that Karn. So hoping he gets the land now, because he doesn't have that many lands, so come on, flood out a little bit towards the end. Nope. Oh well. Yeah, he did get something. Okay. I would have kept the Spire of Industry open so that I can play the puzzle knot, but okay. Oh, this is bad.
Okay, what I'll do is I'll attack, play the Hezret, and then be able to um, discard some stuff next turn. Well, next turn, then I'll be able to win if he doesn't do anything to the Hezret. Oh, right, he does have a Navigated Compass, so he could block still. But he's not going to? Yeah, he is. He has to. Okay, let's play my Hezret. Uh, I already forgot if this was game two or game three. It felt like so long ago that I started this match. Another one? Uh, another Karn. A big one too. I think this is game. That should be game. Attack in. Yeah. This all right. That was actually Matt uh, game three. So I've managed to put this out. I am now. Was it three and one? Yeah. Let's get to the sideboarding or. Oh wait. That was only game two. No, man. I thought I won. Okay. I'm definitely starting to get a little bit uh, blurry here. Um, you can probably tell because I'm not as talkative as I am usually. So, you know, that's what's been happening. Um, do I want to make any changes? I haven't seen any exile stuff. So I think... So I think this is going to be pretty good. I can cut down the glory bringer. Because I have enough removal for the big stuff. I'm not sure the Eldest Reborn is that good, but it would, would let me get back one of his stuff, and it is a 3 for 1. So I want to keep that in. Plus, I wanna, really want to try it. Um, I'll get rid of one of these. For a glory bringer. Yeah, because I feel like on uh, no, I do want to go fast. Yeah, let's just keep that. I think I like this. Yeah, let's go with that. I want to be able to just beat him down and put the pressure on him. It's taking him so long. Hmm. A friend texted me, so I'm gonna sit here and read the text while uh, I'm waiting for him to decide what he wants to do. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys just sit there and just watch the clock. Tick away while I'm responding to this text. Um, actually, I guess I can respond later now. This hand is just okay. It kind of, seems kind of slow. I hope we get some lands. Um, I hope he doesn't get the Herald of Anguish out too early. So, yeah, I hope we get some more lands for sure. Playing a colorless land, so probably not his best option then. Okay. Come on, land. I like getting lands at this point. That is good. Um, I think I want to be aggressive, so let's get... Ooh, that is almost a misclick there. I want to get the scrounger down first. Next turn... 
I'll probably play the duress and then use the upgrade on something that might be nasty that he has. Um, Yeah, I'll get rid of the cog workers puzzle knot. Cause he's probably he probably has a counter spell for sure at this point. Mm. Yeah, I wanna see what I'm dealing with here. Battle at the bridge. Oh, he does have a hero. That kind of sucks. Um, I don't know why I can't make this bigger. Oh, there it is. This doesn't make me feel good. I guess I have to get rid of that. Hmm. Let me look at this again. So he has a hero, which would cost seven. Right now he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, the problem is that he does not have another black source. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's attack, see what he decides to do. And then I will braid the call worker's puzzle knot, just because I don't like. Well, you know, I could let that thing come in. And then unlicense it later. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's see what he does. Um, so let's see, I got rid of that. He just played his scavenging ground. Whoops, this is some terrible. And he ended the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has one card I don't know about. Yeah, I don't want too many cards in my hand in case I get uh, Hezrich, so I will... I hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass, but I will get rid of that... this one, I guess. Yeah, I'll save the Chain Whirler for another time and play this one. I would like to get another land so I can get my Chandra online. Uh. So if he ends up playing... Well, he doesn't have enough even if he plays a land, so I'm, I'm probably okay for now. Hmm. Okay. That's nice. I'm going to attack first, hope that he does something. And then I'll play the Chandra, hoping that he doesn't have a counter spell. No, if he does something, then, you know, I don't have to worry about the counter spell. But now I have to worry about the counter spell. But I should jam it, because, well, you know, jamming Chandra is fun. Giggity. Yep. Ah, he drew it. Yeah, he drew it. That's a bummer. That's a big bummer. Um, yeah, that sucks a lot. Now he plays a hero. But at least I can unlicense it. But now I'm probably going to lose a card. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, he can't play that yet. So I'm just gonna attack and leave the unlicensed part up in case you get another land and then I can just kill that thing next turn. Yeah, that, that seems like a good plan. If 
if he gets a land, then it's perfect for me. He did not get a land. No. So, it kind of sucks a little bit. My plan failed. Yeah. Now I'll play the Goblin because with so many cards in my hand. Well, he's definitely going to bring that down this time. That's why he played the Servo. Yeah, I'll do that then. That sounds good. Yeah, if he didn't get the land, he has to tap everything. But I think he might leave stuff open now. Especially with this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, he has enough to play that. But probably does not have enough to have a counter spell too. What? What are you doing? Now I'm confused. Alright, now I gotta play this. And I do have something to discard, so that's good. Alright, no counter spell. I mean, he still has the Battle at the Bridge and the Puzzle Knot. So I guess he just wants to gain a lot of life, yes? I mean, I got no choice but just to keep on beating down on him. A game of attrition, people. Game of attrition. So he could use Battle of the Bridge now to gain. Well, much. In. Ooh, that could also finish the game. Um, I don't like that at all. <sighs> My hand is loaded, though. But let's see. All right. That makes sense that he was going to do that. That helps. So what should I do? Glorybringer? Yeah, Glorybringer. So... He could play the Hero of Anguish next turn. There's still a bunch of cards I don't know about. So he has two sources of Spyglass in his hand, and one of them is the Hero of Anguish. I don't really care so much about the source of Spyglass. I mean, I think he has to play the hero to block the glory bringer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He'll have two, I guess, mana left. Um, with one of them being probably blue. Um, he might just play the sorcerer spyglass too, just so he can have that extra thing out. But that's not going to do much for him. Because I don't really have anything in my hand. Yeah, he's going to see that my hand probably means he's going to lose. Okay. Now play the Sorcerer Spyglass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to discard this thing. What could he have in his hand? I think the safer play is just to kill that thing and then I can attack with both if he, if he taps out. Yeah, that seems to be the right play. He can use that to try to minus something, but if he minuses, he still, yeah, he still loses. Cool! Finally, I am actually at 3 and 1 now. Should we just do it the last match? It's 2.33 a.m. Yeah, let's do it.
hopefully the last match won't be as, as bad. So, um, thanks for watching. Let's go on to the next match.